here at CES 2011. We're here at the BlackBerry stand. And finally, I've had a chance to get my hands on the BlackBerry playbook. And I have to say, I kind of love it. It's small, it's lightweight, and it's really powerful. The OS is really slick, and you can do things like keep video playing and also play a third-person shooter game and have them running simultaneously. And that's thanks to the dual-core processor and the one gig of RAM that it's toting. We still don't have pricing or availability, although it is likely to hit sometime in the spring. And I have to say, I think BlackBerry might have a real player on their hands. Here at CES 2011, I've had a chance to get my hands for the first time on the new Google Nexus S. Now, this is the upgrade to the Nexus One, and HTC have been dumped for Samsung. Now, looks-wise, this is a very nice phone, and it's based quite a lot on the Galaxy phone, which was very popular, looks very nice. There's a four-inch screen there, and it's super AMOLED, so it's super bright, it looks lovely, and of course, it's running Google's Android Gingerbread. Now, this is obviously the most up-to-date Android operating system. With this, you get near-field communication, you get a better gaming experience, things are faster, and it looks very, very nice. We will be getting this into the office as soon as we possibly can. To be honest, having played a very short amount of time with it, there's really not that much that's different on first appearances. They've spruced up the menus a bit, it looks quite nice, but we'll be bringing you the full unveiling as soon as it comes to the UK. I'm here at CES 2011 and there is a massive scrum around the ASUS stand thanks to the fact they've brought out so many tablets. Now the one I'm really excited about is the ePad slider. This has got a 10.1 inch screen but there's a slide out keyboard underneath which is excellent for all those people that love typing. The most exciting thing about the ePad slider is Google's Android Honeycomb OS which is an OS designed only for tablets and it's coming out sometime in Q2. Now, we haven't had a really good play with it, but they promise us that it's got redesigned YouTube, it's got 3D Google Maps, and it's got best-in-class browsing. In terms of when you can actually get your hand on this device, we're looking at about Q2 this year, and pricing is to be confirmed. I'm here at CES 2011 on the Motorola stand where I've just looked at the Motorola Zoom tablet. Now this has a 10.2 inch screen and it's another one of these tablets announced at CES this year which is running Google's Android Honeycomb tablet only OS. Now like the others that means there's support for things like 3D Google Maps and a redesigned YouTube. According to Motorola, despite the fact that there have been lots of announcements to do with Honeycomb at the show this year, Motorola will be the first people to get this actually onto the shelves. So we'll wait to see if that happens or not. One of the other interesting things about this tablet is that there's multi-touch support for 10 inputs. So that's all 10 of your fingers. Now, interestingly, Google don't actually support this at this time. So you won't actually be able to use that functionality straight off the bat. But obviously, because you can upgrade the OS, that is something that might happen in the future. And Motorola totally have it covered. So there you go. It's the Motorola Zoom. It's coming soon. And they say it's going to be the first honeycomb device on the shelves. We're back from the Consumer Electronics Show and what a year it was. But there's no time to wallow in jet lag here at Fraculus. We won't rest until we've rounded up the best of the rest from the show floor. The buzz may have been all about the tablets, but there were some new phones on show too. Motorola's Android-powered 1 GHz dual-core Atrex is trying to pass itself off as a laptop too. Stick it in the keyboard dock and it'll run apps on the large 11.6 inch screen with full flash support and a grown up version of Firefox 3.6. Also firmly in the phone camp was Sony Ericsson's Xperia Arc Android handset. In addition to extra curves, it runs Android 2.3 Gingerbread and comes loaded with Sony Bravia and Exmor branded image and video enhancements to make the results of the 8.1 megapixel camera look better. 
On the apps where you didn't expect to find them front, Ford's new Focus electric car comes app enabled. The My Ford mobile app communicates directly with the car, so you can sit in Starbucks whilst it tops up and just check on its charging progress straight from your phone. You can also plan your journey, check for charging stations en route and even get directions to where your car is if you've forgotten where you've parked it. So that's it for another app packed CES. Is now a good time to pull out and I told you so for the app unbelievers? Want more? Go to www.fraculus.com forward slash follow for a glut of RSSE, iTunesy, podcasty, subscription-y options.